Fungal skin infection or tinea infection, also known as dermatophytes that mainly affect skin, hair and nails. Tinea infection are the most common cause of superficial fungal infection around the world and are distinguished by area of the body affected. People usually get tinea by touching a person who has it. Family members and close contacts may pass the fungus back and forth. Talking about types of tinea infections. Tinea infections can be divided into various types on the basis of body parts they have affected. Tinea capitis, also known as scalp ring worm and mainly affects scalp of head. Tinea pedis, also known as athlete's foot and mainly affect toes of feet. Tinea corporis, also known as ring worm and mainly affect arms, legs and trunk of your body. Tinea onguim also known as oncomycosis or nail fungus and mainly affects the nails of hands and feet. Tinea cruris, also known as chalk itch and mainly affects groin and inner thigh in your body. Let's talk about the pathophysiology of tinea infection. So fungi mainly metabolize keratin present in skin, nails and hair of body. This ultimately leads to lesions, scarring, brittleness and dryness of affected organs of the body. Question is, why is tinea sometimes called ringworm? On much of the body and face, tinea can look like a red scaly ring because of the ringed shape it is sometimes called ringworm, even though it is not caused by a worm. Let's now talk about the diagnosis of tinea infection. A healthcare professional can often diagnose tinea infection by doing a careful examination of your skin and nails. Special tests such as a skin scrapping or swab test may be done to make or confirm the diagnosis. The fungus can sometimes be seen by looking at the scrapping under the microscope. At the end, we are going to discuss about the treatment of tinea infections. So, there are a variety of over the counter and prescription medications. To treat tinea infections, the type and length of treatment that is recommended or prescribed will differ depending on the type of tinea. Tinea infection on the face, body, groin and feet is usually treated with medications that you apply directly to the skin, the topical medications. These include creams, lotions and gels. Examples are terbinafine, ketoconazole, cyclopyrox and oxyconazole. These medications generally need to be used for several weeks. If the infection is extensive, oral antifungal medications may be needed. Tinea capitis that affects the scalp and oncomycosis, known as nail fungus, usually need to be treated with prescription medications taken by mouth. These medications need to be taken for several weeks to months. Examples include prisofulvin, terbinafine, fluconazole and itraconazole. A medicated shampoo is also recommended for tinea capitis. The shampoo will not clear the infection but can prevent spread to the other people. So dear viewers, I hope you find this video informative. Keep watching PharmaCD by asking. Also, the links are given below in the description. Do follow us on our social media platforms for more informative stuff. Thank you.